Hi guys, it's Melissa from the Melmar Group. We went to Costco yesterday, so I don't have to cook dinner today. If you want to find out how I'm doing that, stay tuned. <music> Okay, so everybody knows about Costco's rotisserie chicken, right? We all love it. It's one of the best deals out there, five bucks for this big rotisserie chicken. Did you know you don't have to eat it the day of? You can put it in your fridge and reheat it, or you can even eat, eat it cold. Imagine that. When we buy these, I'm able to get a couple of meals, probably two meals for our family of four out of this chicken. And then if I was really diligent, I would actually save the bones and make chicken broth. Sometimes I do, but I never get around to making the broth. But you can get additional uses out of it by doing that. So yesterday we went to Costco, bought this chicken, and I decided I was gonna show you guys a trick that I have. So these salads, they have an Asian cashew chopped salad, they have the um, romaine with parmesan salad, they have one that has lots of kale and stuff in it. Um, they're just a more gourmet salad mix and they're bigger than you'd find at the grocery store. So like this one um, is like a 20 ounce salad versus like, versus like an 8 to 12 ounce salad. And in this one you get two different kinds of cabbage, carrots, celery, cilantro, cashews, sesame seeds, almonds, wonton strips, and an Asian dressing. So there's a couple ways you could do this. Same idea with all of the different salads that they have. Buy the salad, buy the chicken. You're in it about 10 bucks. You could have the chicken and the salad for your dinner. Just cut the chicken up, put it in the salad, that would be great. Another thing you could have that, but you could stretch the meal a little bit by having some additional um, cabbage or maybe a coleslaw mix that hasn't been put with dressing yet that you mix with this salad to stretch it. You can get those for under $2 at the grocery store um, so that you could feed more people. This chicken will feed a lot of people, so you could stretch it that way. Another way to stretch it would be to make some short noodles or something that you could put in the salad. Um, or you could cook some rice on the side, have some bread on the side or something like that, some fruit. And you've got a dinner that you can make stretch um, quite a bit and that you could possibly get more meals out of than just the one meal. So I hope that that helps you. Um, I have lots of little hacks like that that I'd love to share with you. So if you're interested, um, I have lots of ways that I figure out how not to cook dinner. So if you're interested, leave me a comment down below, give me a thumbs up so I know, and um, I would love to see that. If you have any hacks, I'd love to hear yours and know what you do to avoid cooking dinner as well without going to the fast food line. And until next time, make it a great day. Thanks, bye. <laughs>